Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to take this break from working on my downhill bike to give a huge thank you to everybody that chose to subscribe. Because of it, your subscriptions, I was able to hit 100 subscribers. And that's a huge milestone. I would never thought I would even get 100. I want to let you know that I'm going to continue trying to put out really quality videos and also come up with some new things and maybe collaborations in the future. As you can see, I have this uh, lovely bike room, but I need to update it. It's overwhelmed with bikes, so there's some future winter projects coming up and videos. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Or just stay around and see what you think about the channel. I hope you enjoyed the channel, and again, thank you for all your work and time you put into my channel. Before we get into this week's video, I want to apologize for the delay in the video. Work and a sinus infection has pushed me way back off the of schedule. That's why this video is coming out light. You also may hear that I have a little still sinuses, but I'm hoping that's clearing up and I can get back on schedule. So let's get into the video now. On today's episode, I'm taking you down Dirt Beaver, Lucid, and Dream Weaver. Dirt Beaver is the new progressive trail that Snowshoe's building to help bridge the gap between blue and black diamond trails. This is hoping to get more riders into the sport and get more riders to progress. Right from the beginning, this trail is flowing really nice. The soil is really compact and this looks like a really nice progression trail so far. I know people said check in my speed because this area that you can overcook. So I'm just going to keep it slow on this lap. One thing I like about this trail, there's a few options spread out throughout this trail that is more advanced skills that will really help riders progress on the skills and also get them ready for the next part or be able to practice in a safety trail. Now I know what people mean about watching my speed on this trail. There's several rollers that are very easy to overcook. However, if you have this trail dialed in, it would be great to double or maybe even triple you have the speed. At this time, that's the end of Dirt Beaver. The trail builders are continuing working on extending the trail. As you can see, there's all the trail equipment working on the next part of the trail. So what happens is you drop down a steep chute, go up a little slant, and go right back into the trail. I can't wait until next season to see how they finish this trail out. Until the trail is finished, you have to ride the fire road down a little bit and pick up the trail you want to ride. In my case, I'm jumping on Lucid, so I can jump over to Raging Bull. For a nice flow combination, I always like to choose the trails Dreamweaver down to Raging Bull. Both of them flow really nice and it's just a way to shift things up when you're just tired of riding the Z Weaver or you just want a little bit more different spice. Looking back at these videos, I'm still amazed about the trail conditions. It was the end of the season, it was dry, and everything was running really fast. With some loose parts because it was over dry, but man, this was a perfect weekend. You might have noticed that there's several trails that split off from Lucid. I'm hoping in future episodes to be able to show you those trails. Some of them I'm not familiar with. Some I never rode before because I just get stuck in a pattern of just riding the same thing.
one of my favorite trails when Raging Bull is the wall right, right at the beginning of the trail. It can be slippery when wet, but when it's dry, it's so much fun to hit. Raging Bull is not a very long trail, it's just a flowy section to get you down to the lift. But it's always a little change up from all the other trails. So I always hit it once in a while. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Snowshoe Mini series. And again, I want to thank all the subscribers that chose to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for help growing my channel. And if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. It really helps me grow my channel. And until next time, keep finding MTB Zen.